Hello friends, welcome to our channel Stocks Factor. Hope you are doing well. Friends, in this video, we are going to take one use case in which we will discuss the example of Nifty and see that how you can do the analysis in order to identify the major support and resistance levels and how you will find that maximum number of times Nifty adhere to those levels. Friends, if you remember and if you have followed our videos, especially the derivative analysis series tutorial videos, these 15 videos in which we have discussed such use cases many times and we have discussed specifically about Nifty that how Nifty respects the major support and resistance levels and if there is any chance that Nifty breaks the support levels you will definitely follow that thing in the data also. You will see a huge call writing and put unwinding in that case when the major support resistance levels are broken. But if in the case the Nifty is falling and the VIX India VIX is not rising and you see that there is a significant put writing it means that the major support levels will be adhered so friends before we begin with the video i first of all want to thank all our viewers who have given us very positive response and very good feedback about our dashboard and again i would like to mention that you please go through this particular playlist derivative analysis series playlist now it is completed and we have posted 15 videos in which we have covered each and every indicator in detail the derivative indicator which we have shown in our dashboard we have covered the theory the significance and then the practical demos of how to use that indicator in order to identify high probability trades and friends there are still few days left 10 days left for the trial version if you want to get the access of the free trial version link please drop us an email the email id is mentioned in the about section you can drop us an email and we'll mail you the link of the dashboard so friends let's begin with our use case so we'll jump to the stocks factor dashboard so now i am on the stocks factor dashboard and we'll go to the index analysis page in order to discuss the use case which i was mentioning so i'll click on the index analysis page so friends now we are on the index analysis page and you can see that nifty is by default selected and the default time frame is three months so friends the point which i was mentioning is that last week you already saw that there was a huge selling in the market and due to the spikes in the bond yields and the federal reserve meeting of the us there was a huge volatility in the market for the past two weeks and before we jump into the nifty analysis let me also show you that what really happened last week so we'll quickly go to the last summary page so friends we are onto the last summary page and let's analyze what really happened last week so friends as you can see that fii's actually bought so this was a rare case scenario where we have found that that fii's were actually buying when the market was falling and dii's were selling Generally, most of the times what we see is that that DIIs are buying and FIIs are selling then in case the market falls in most of the times. But in this case, what really happened that FIIs were buying and DIIs were selling with every fall. And we also see that with fall in Nifty and Bank Nifty, there was a huge fall in India VIX. This is another rare case scenario. So friend, that's why we wanted to make this video in order to make you understand that how you can identify the data. So in this case, what really happened last week that India VIX was actually falling with the fall in Nifty. And this is generally a rare case scenario because generally most of the times you see that whenever the market falls, there is a spike in volatility. There is a spike in India VIX in the fear index. But actually what was happening with every fall, the India VIX was falling 5 to 10%. And that's why we see a huge fall and the India VIX even went below 20. So with this huge fall in uh, India VIX, it was giving an early signal that this particular fall will be very short lived and Nifty may bounce now in order to analyze that what were the levels of nifty and how we could have identified we'll go to the index analysis page now friends we are again into the index analysis page and as you can see that nifty is already selected by default and the default time frame is three months so friends let's begin with the nifty analysis by connecting all the dots and how we can identify the major support and resistance levels so friends as you can see that first of all we'll analyze the nifty price versus india VIX. so when we talk about the last week so you see that the nifty started falling from these levels and and there was a decrease in india vix too so this was this was giving us a signal that nifty is falling but the india vix is not increasing it means there is not very huge panic in the market because otherwise we would have seen a significant jump in india vix right so if we see previously that nifty fell and there was a huge spike in india vix so we can see the panic here but in this case generally we saw that india vix was falling so this was the first signal for us to wait for the nifty to come to the support level so that we can buy and now let's let's see other patterns let's begin with the futures cumulative open interest data so this is expiry on expiry data so this is giving you a multi-month picture so this is already in the uptrend now let's see this is the week on week trend so you see from the past 
two weeks. There were slight short positions in the week previous to this week and then both fell. It means the price also fell and the open interest also fell. So it means long positions were unwinded in this case. And similarly, this is the daily view which gives you the more granularity. You can track the price and the open interest on a daily basis. And when I mean open interest, we mean the cumulative open interest. So you can see here that both were falling. It means long positions were getting unwinded for the past few days. And if you also see the PCR trend, so Nifty was falling, PCR was falling. So again, a slight bearishness we can see. And last day we saw a jump, we'll analyze that also. And friends, now let's analyze this graph. So friends, this is the graph as I have already mentioned in my previous videos also, that in this graph, we generally show two strike prices. That is the major support and resistance levels. That is the levels in which the maximum put writing and maximum call writing is done. So maximum put writing level acts as major support and maximum call writing level tells us the major resistance level. So you can see that the major support level was intact, right? The 14,000 level. And when we are talking about the open interest of uh, options, we are still talking about the cumulative open interest, like combining the open interest of all the expiries, not only the current weekly expiry, but all the expiries ahead, whether monthly or weekly. So you can see here 14,000 has the highest accumulation of put open interest. And similarly, 16,000 right now has the highest open interest in calls, right? So now let's see the option chain in detail. So friends, if you remember that in our previous videos, we have discussed that we have recently added the open interest trend also for the past six days, including the current day, that is the total seven days trend now. So in this way, you can clearly see that how the data is changing in the option chain day by day. And you can see the trend shifting. So this helps you to analyze the data and how the positions are getting shifted from one strike price to another strike price. So first of all, let's analyze from the day starting of 10th of March. So you can see here that 15,000 was the level where the put writing was done. There was a huge put writing and this would have acted as the first support and it was acting as the first support. We were clearly seeing sometimes that whenever uh, the Nifty was coming to 15,000, we could see a slight buying there. Then what happened? Uh, since the meeting of Fed was scheduled and we started seeing the volatility and suddenly the market uh, went below 15,000 and we saw the put unwinding in that level and we also saw call writing. So it means the first support was broken in case of Nifty. And then we started seeing call writing and the call writing increased at those levels and uh, put writing was quite decreased. So you can see now the call writing is uh, more than the put writing at 15,000. And similarly, that trend was intact and call writing started becoming heavily at the higher strike prices. And they also started shifting to lower strike prices. That is 14,900, 800 and 700. But one point to see here is that friends, you can clearly see that 14,500 level with every fall, the 14,500 put open interest was increasing. So now what was happening is the support level was shifting to the first support level. I'm not talking about the major support level. Major support level is still 14,000. The first support level was shifting to 14,500. And when you see such kind of scenarios where with the nifty fall, the put open interest is increasing at the first support level. It means that will act as the support. It will act as a good support, but that could be the first level where you can do the buying with again a stop loss below that. So we saw that the put open interest was increasing. So this was giving us a signal that 14,500 will act as a strong support at the first level. And with every fall you are seeing and then you see that and 14,500 almost reached the open interest, which was equivalent to 14,000 almost. So you can see the two bars almost matching each other. So, and in the last trading day, you can see there was huge put writing as, a, and what happened? Nifty bounced from this level. So if you see Thursday's data, you can see that 18th of March, 14,500 was a major support level. And on Friday, what happened? The market on intraday basis went slightly below 14,500 on Friday, last Friday. And then immediately the buying came and the market closed way above 14,500 and huge put writing was done at those levels and the support level was intact and the market bounced very sharply and closed above 14,700 and you can see significant put writing and call unwinding at the lower levels. And now you can see that 14,500 has the huge put open interest. So this will act as the first support level still. So next week, if you prefer to take positions, 14,500 will be your first support level. If this level is intact, there are maximum chances that Nifty will go even higher. 
So friends, in this way, you have to do the analysis. So if you also see the bottom table, you will see that that a short covering came on the very last day with huge put writing as compared to the call writing. And that's why we saw that the Nifty bounced from the first support levels that is 14,500. So on a closing basis, the Nifty closed above the support level. So friends, the takeaway point is here that in order to analyze such levels whenever there is a selling in broader market so if you remember when the selling began the selling began in the whole market by broader markets i mean in every sector they were selling so in such cases what you have to do is you have to follow nifty so you have to find the support level of nifty the first support level and you have to follow that if that support level is respected you need to see that at the support level put writing should increase right also in the falling market if that support level is respected the put writers are not panicking they are not unwinding their positions and even if you find that people are adding the position so you get the confidence that the support level uh, will be intact and it will not be broken very easily and you can comfortably put your stop losses just below that first support level and you can do the buying so friends in this way you have to do the analysis and take up your trades i hope you like this video if you have any questions regarding this video please post your questions on the comment section and we will definitely answer your questions in the coming videos we'll be posting such more use cases in relation to stocks also in which we'll see such scenarios where we can identify that the support levels are respected and that we should wait for the support levels to get respected we should not be in a hurry to take the positions immediately first we should wait that the stock or the index bounces from the support level so friends keeping in mind our motto that trade less trade best we come to the end of this video i highly request you to please subscribe to our channel so that you can get the notifications of our weekly analysis videos and the derivative analysis series tutorial videos as i mentioned that please watch this playlist i highly recommend you to watch this playlist because in this playlist we have covered each and every indicator in detail so that you can get benefited from all these indicators which we have placed in our dashboard also and if you want to get the trial access there are still few days left you can drop us an email and we'll mail you the link of the dashboard and very soon we'll be sending out the mails to our existing dashboard users who have dropped us an email already for the official launching of our website so friends see you in another video take care and goodbye